yo, unexpected bonus stream thing. So I got uh, kind of annoyed with the idea of just leaving it as it was. Um, so I've gone through and fixed it up. Um, yeah, there were a bunch of little things in there. Um, some of them to do with, like I mentioned in the stream, like texture clamping shouldn't, sorry, texture, is it clamping or wrapping I ended up fiddling with? Shouldn't have been a major problem, but um, apparently was. So I tweaked that, uh, reading the, calculating the index. Um, I'm using text or fetch now instead of um, texture in the thing that's actually drawing the spheres. Um, and then once I got that kind of stuff working, let's actually see what else I messed with. Um, oh, this is just tweaked since then. So, okay. Where did I go with this? Well, this is just tweaking. Oh yeah, I found a mistake in the um, thing that was generating the flow field. In fact, let's animate that. Like, let's uh, show that as well. Um, okay, so what I was doing before is I was just storing the angle in the texture, which is really dumb, rather than the vector we generated. So I threw that in, and um, then I started animating that again. Um, I moved a bunch of stuff, all the particles code together, so I can go and have a look at that in a minute. Um, yeah, so this is where I've changed um, how I'm calculating the index into the particles texture. Again, it's just using um, Texel fetch now, which requires a, an integer vector two. Um, secret stream, yes! Good to have you here, man. I didn't think anyone would be here for this, but it, damn it, I wanted to, I wanted to get this done. So, um, yes, there was, a, there was a couple of little changes there, mainly just on grabbing the data out and, yeah, positioning things in world space. That was fine. Uh, in particles, what did I mess around with? I had, yeah, I just had a couple of odd mistakes. Um, I am, uh, so yeah, so one of the things I did was I changed all the particle positions so they only go between zero and one, and that simplified a lot of things. And as well as that, if I go to particles, if we, what I wanted to do in the stream um, was to do this, where are we? Let's go to the draw particles. Um, oh yes, I wanted to use, am I actually looking at the right thing? This is where my brain starts going, ah oh, yeah, okay. So I wanted to set the opacity down low. Um, and we do this uh, by enabling blending first. So let's go and have a look at where this is drawn. So things, all I do, do is I make some uh, blending parameters. I leave it as default. So it's like, I think it's one minus alpha or something like this. Um, we say with blending, if we don't have this, there's no blending. If we just wrap it in that and give it some blending params, that just works. Um, and the idea then is we can go and let's bring back play with verts. What we're going to do is we're going to stop clearing the screen. Uh, and when we do that, we get some nice little trails. And that was all I wanted to get to really today. <laughs> let's show both of those. Let's show neither of those down. Um, wanted to so we can have this and then we could start playing with different values um, in the particles code like this might be quite a lot so we can we can do this uh, maybe there's a bit of subtle three let's get that going um, maybe that's too many particles so then we can start messing around with you know if the full amounts too much then what does a thousand particles look like that might be a little better um, we could say how much the contribution of the um, flow map is being added each time. Um, so where do we go down? This is the force, and we could just multiply it by some number. If we, uh, if we put it high, everything's going to get kicked around. Pretty much is going to match the flow diagram exactly. Um, if we really slack it off, it'll take a lot longer for that to have an effect on the current velocity of the particle. So you'll get things start to kind of meander their own way and as they're going along they're picking up hints from underneath um so yeah 
that's the that's the kind of thing I wanted to get to today. Um, I, ideally, as well, you wouldn't just be drawing these circles; you'd be drawing lines and all this kind of stuff, and you get more interesting patterns. Um, but yeah, I, I'm 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 okay with us getting to here, you know. So that was it. I'm gonna I'm gonna push this code up, and that's free to play with as well. I'm gonna actually light that up fairly hard following of the lines there. And you can also mess with the speed at which we're animating the flow diagram. So actually, if we go uh, to flow, and we multiply now by zero, and then we do things, we should see that all the particles start clumping together. We start, they, they, they're matching to the contours of the flow diagram. And then we hit the problems that um, somebody pointed out during the stream. Who was it? Was it Pixel Outdoor or JSO? I can't remember now. Um, so yeah, we just, um, by, by animating this over time, we get a, yeah, we get a nice effect. So we can set it like really chaotic, but then there's, there's an interaction between how fast we're animating and how far and how strong the contribution is to the, uh, velocity of the vector, because if it's changing too fast, then it doesn't give it enough time to have that influence. And that's kind of cool. Um, so maybe we just turn it down to not one so it's very slowly changing this is one of the times when actually being able to see the uh, like to have the clear screen and play with this anyway this this is what we wanted to get to so I'm gonna turn that opacity up I'm gonna let it run for a couple of uh, cycles and then I'll call it night um, thanks for the few people that managed to turn off for this completely unannounced stream and uh, yeah I just just glad to get this done so let's put that at 0.8 and reset and there we go. Hey Jace. <laughs> Couldn't stay away. Yeah, me too, man. Glad it's working. But that means I can sleep now. It was so stupid because it was one of those ones that's like, this should have been simple. <laughs> and then we can, yeah, we might revisit this and mess it. Oh, I like it when they fan out into little things. I am just so distracted now. I'm probably just going to play with this for a bit. But uh, yeah, that's the lot. Catch you folks later. Bye.